snap and I had no hair. Snip, snap and I had no hair. We were woken up in the morning with the lights flipped on and drone structures started running around throwing stuff everywhere, kicking over foot lockers, telling us to stay there to stand in front of our racks. Then they started counting down as we'd get dressed and make the racks. And if we didn't make the time limits, then they would make us get all the way undressed or make us tear the racks all apart and stuff like that. And that would go on for maybe an hour when we first got there, just teaching us the way things go. After a while, you get used to it. Stop being so belligerent in the morning, not knowing what's going on. We started just acting as little machines and working as a team. Stop yelling at everyone to get ready quicker and stuff like that. You start helping people out. If you're ready faster, you throw them their blouse or you help them put their sheets on while you're in the middle of making your bed if you're faster at it. And then we start acting as a unit. Everything in boot camp is done for a reason. Even getting ready for the days and just teamwork. Every part of our life needs to be in a professional military manner. So how's your lifestyle after you joined the Marines compared to how it was? Um, everything's structured. I would... A lot of people control my life, and I don't mind it. I mean, I'm told where to be, what to do every day. Uh, the lot of hours are long. You have, don't have your weekends a lot of the time. Well, some of the time, if you have duty and stuff like that. I had a lot of free time in the civilian world. A lot of free time. It, it seems like you're working towards a goal now with your whole life instead of just working for the weekend or working to make a paycheck so you can buy the thing that you want. You're contributing to something and it's a lot better. You're so busy and tired the whole time, you don't even know which way's up. Your cell phone, you don't even think about that stuff. You're more worried about getting dressed on time in the morning or rifle crawl or the test that you're studying for in boot camp. And then you're more worried about food. In the barracks, guys talk about food 100% more than anything else, what they're going to eat when they get out. MREs, if you have the time to heat them up, which a lot of the time you don't, tastes actually pretty fine. There's, unless you get a uh, cheese omelet, those are kind of gross. That's kind of like the death sentence, and you know, everyone tries to trade off on that, but no one will. So when you're handed a cheese omelet at MRE, don't eat it. And what made you join the Marines out of all the branches? They happen to be the most professional and the hardest working. They have the hardest working with that thick. I think, you know, everyone can say their own opinion and argue till they're blue in the face, but what they do, people say put up or shut up, and no matter what the situation is, our motto is adapt and overcome, and that's what we're told. We're not given extra stuff to do jobs or any extra incentive. We just do more with less. I love the lifestyle. I love it all. And if I die in a combat zone, if I die in a combat zone, box me up and ship me home, box me up and ship me home. I started marking down the days from the day he left for boot camp, and then when I saw only a week's worth of X marks, it made time go by so much slower, so I didn't pay attention to the calendar until I knew a week went by. It was just weird knowing that I wasn't going to see him for the next three months when I saw him every day before that. It's hard not having him here. My days go by fast. My weeks feel like it's been months. And then when months go by, it feels like it's been years since I've seen him last. But when it comes down to the moments that I have left to actually seeing him in person, it feels like he's only been gone away for a minute. Tell my mama I did my best. Tell my mama I did my best. For my mama don't you cry. My mama don't you cry. Break your motto is do or die. Break your motto is do or die. Ain't no cry, Leo. No cry, Leo. No cry, Leo. No cry, Leo.